So they're not the kind of restaurants that you'd expect in a small river town just across the border in Wisconsin. But a lifelong Hudson guy has created a mini food empire anchored by a Caribbean spot. Mm. This morning, DeRussia Eats, the suburban location that so many viewers told me I had to check out, the incredibly popular San Pedro Cafe. The fire in the kitchen matches the heat on the plate at Hudson's San Pedro Cafe. It, to me, uh, Caribbean cuisine is, is, you know, a lot of seafood, a lot of spice. Pete Foster isn't the most likely evangelist for Caribbean food. He's lived in Hudson, Wisconsin almost his whole life. You know, at that time I was 28 when we bought this building. The year was 2000. Pete had already become a co-owner of Barker's Grill, the place he started in restaurants as a college kid. I did everything. Bartended, served, uh, cooked, and, and did dishes. At Pete the set his eyes on this historic 2nd Street building and a concept that had everyone wondering, Caribbean in Hudson? All my bankers asked me that too. <laughs> a lot of them, a lot of them said good luck. But he got a loan, bringing the food from the island of San Pedro to the Midwestern Riverside. But I had faith in the community of Hudson that uh, they were they would support. To to get that like sweet, salty, acidic, and really spicy sauce that gets reduced down. The heat of the jerk chicken doesn't scare away his very loyal customer base. Nor does the Serrano peppers on the shrimp St. Croix pasta. The Caribbean nachos, yes, nachos have become iconic. Chef Luke Sautel runs the kitchen. You don't really think nachos when you think of a Caribbean restaurant, but as long as you incorporate good flavors that balance it together, I think people are going to be happy. The view of the tropical fish and that lemon habanero aioli somehow makes nachos work here. I could eat the whole thing. San Pedro is the centerpiece of Pete's three restaurants. Barker's elevates bar food with killer burgers and craft beer. Pedro's Del Este is a Cuban, Spanish, tapas style small plate spot. All three draw customers from far beyond Hudson. I consider Hudson is absolutely a, a part of the Twin Cities. We're 25 minutes from downtown uh, Minneapolis, you know, 15, 20 from downtown St. Paul. Since San Pedro opened in 2000, Hudson's population has exploded. More than 50% growth to nearly 14,000 people. And certainly uh, over the last 20 years, I've, I, I've seen things just go nuts. Great food, great cocktails, and great people. No surprise that Hudson and Pete's restaurants keep on growing. It's really a, a, a great community to do business in. I will tell you that the number one comment on the uh, Facebook thread when uh, Pete and San Pedro posted that yeah. we were doing this story yeah. was, oh no, there are already enough people from Woodbury who are eating out here. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need the whole Twin Cities coming. Uh, Hudson feels Sorry, they're on their way. Hudson would so, like you to right. visit. Sorry. Uh, it's great. So I went there. You know, all of these stories that we do, I always eat there before right. we do the story. With your family. To see if yeah. it's worth To doing. see if it's worth focusing yeah. on. And we went to all of Pete's restaurants in Hudson. Wow. And they're really good. They're really good. Huh. And they're priced very affordable. How's the spice too. level? Uh, you can select it. Okay. So there's a oh, wide range. There you go. Yep. So the jerk is. The jerk chicken's pretty legit. Like yeah. it's it's got some heat. Pete's yeah. beard's legit too. Very nice. Well, I mean, sexy. Yeah. 